Good morning, third grade. Mrs. Oliver here. I'm going to teach comprehension today from your floppy book. We are on unit four, week one, and the story is called Nail Soup. You can find that on pages 232 through 235. Our story is about a father and son team, and we know that they are kind of poor and don't have um, a lot to um, bring with them. Um, they're kind of travelers. They are going from place to place. They don't have a lot of food or money. And although they don't have a lot, um, the dad has a lot of smarts, some street smarts, and he finds a way to get him and his son a meal by kind of tricking the people that they see, but not in a mean way, in a way that kind of teaches them a les lesson about sharing. Our genre is folktale, which means those are stories that are, are passed down from person to person, kind of like storytellers. They often have some sort of lesson or guidance that you get after you read the story. It is fiction, it is not real. Our comprehension strategy this week is to ask and answer questions. So I wanted to know why Eric admires his dad so much. So Eric is the little boy in the story and he's our narrator. So if we look at some of the text evidence of what Eric says, I'm looking for the pronoun I because that's when I know Eric is talking. So he says, um, Papa, I am so hungry. I smiled and nodded back. I admired my Papa. I knew he would find a way to get us a warm meal. So this shows me that Eric has trust for his father, that he knows that their situation is kind of difficult, but he also knows that his dad's always going to come through for him. So he knows his Papa will take care of him no matter what and he admires that about him. He respects it. Our comprehension skill is point of view. So again, um, this is from Eric's point of view, who is our narrator in the story. Eric smiles and nods. He knows his father will get them a warm meal. I smiled. Papa was clever and charming. He could do anything. So these are all things that Eric says about his papa throughout the story. If I use all of that evidence, I can make a judgment what Eric thinks about his dad. So Eric's point of view Eric thinks that his papa is. someone he can count on and will always take care of him. So that is his point of view. And we get proof of that throughout the story by all the things that Papa is able to do to get them a warm meal by the end of the story. I hope this helped you understand a little bit more and I'll catch you next time.